All right, and we're back again. So I want to go ahead and keep going with the character I was doing yesterday. Um, I don't remember why I named him Mutton, but his name is Mutton. So, all right, test one. Pull up chat while I'm remembering. There we go. Okay, so my goal with the, what I want to do tonight is like now that I've got, my main goal for the first stream was literally just get myself decent gear. That's all I really cared about. So I was able to make, this ring is okay. It's not the best, but it's all right. Um, this one is what I wanted, so that's perfect for what I was going for. Um, the talisman, this is just something out of a chest. Um, I can't really make anything else because I need ivory, so I'd have to find an elephant first. So I could find one, but I'll wait. Uh, the hat's okay. It gives me 25 attack plus 5 more, so yeah, it's not bad. 30 attack, it's okay. Um, this is decent. Bears, dragons, and crimson. I'll take that. That's three enchantments that all give attack in some way. Glider's normal. Uh, and then just two swords I found in chests. Um, so like I was saying yesterday, is a lot of people kind of make a mistake of... In the early game, they get hung up on trying to make themselves a weapon, and they think that's the only way to make themselves stronger. Which, I mean, it's a decent way, don't get me wrong, but like, they forget about this slot, this slot, their headgear, and, I mean, a lot of people do end up making armor, but you gotta remember, making yourself a good ring like this is almost as important, if not more important, than having a, a good weapon. Because it's an easy way to get four enchantments onto your build, so you can increase. So, like, just taking this ring off, I just dropped, like, over 130 uh, attack, which is a lot. Or, sorry, 100. Yeah. Which is pretty crazy. And then the more enchantments I get on other parts of the build, the more that these enchantments will also increase, because I have two on there that give me plus 10%, which will just keep increasing uh, the more base attack I have. Which is nice. Uh, okay, so yesterday I had set up the automatic... Bioethanol. This looks a little complicated, but the process behind it's really not too bad. Basically, I have the sprinkler to auto water the wheat. The saw cuts it. Then I have a chest up there. It has absorbers. There's two of them. Uh, pull it into the chest upwards. And then craft connector. It's hard to see it, but there's a craft connector on the chest to the cooking pot. Cooking pots automatically make wheat flour. The wheat flour gets dropped back to the chest. Then the aging facility automatically makes bioethanol, puts it back in the chest. So whenever there's enough wheat, these guys grab it. When there's enough wheat flour, this thing grabs it, puts it back here. Pretty easy. Uh, and then the well is just because I needed water at one point. Although I should probably set up a water farm as well but I'll do that when I move because I'm gonna move islands now um, now that I have my basic gear that I'm gonna use for up to like island level fives basically because I'm strong enough now all I need to really do is keep upgrading my weapons because these are like star level five swords they're pretty weak and a star level three that's very weak so um, pretty soon I'll be have access to like really strong weapons so I'd rather just replace those, and that's going to give me such a big boost um, that I don't have to worry about my armor at that point. Uh, so then I can just focus solely on like setting up automations, getting money coming in, uh, have a bunch of materials for like later on, stuff like that. And then you can focus on setting up yourself to like farm bosses, and that's not that hard. And then you can literally just move to the end game. Set yourself up with a really good set of gear with good enchantments, and farm the end boss, or the end bosses, and that's it. I mean, there's a bunch of other stuff you could do, but like, if you just wanted to get yourself to the end game really quick, like that's what you'd do. Okay. Do I have enough slates of growth? I don't think I have any. That's okay. Um, okay, so I think the next thing I'm going to do is set up a money farm. Uh, it's very, very simple. Once you get your green monos set up to, like, heal like that, um, you can make money. Um, 
with a few different machines, but the easiest one is with the livestock machine. Just simply because like you can put any animal you want in there and they'll produce something. Um, so the community just kind of figured out that the best thing to capture and throw in there is the jack-o'-lantern because they make pumpkins they sell for a really high rate. It's like 2500 each. And they exist on this island. Okay. If I remember correctly, it's the red leaf pumpkins. So let's make sure I'm ready for this. Hold on. Probably should have made sure I had monster prisms. This is island level 4, so he's, he'll be strong enough to take my hits well enough. Oh, that was close. He does shoot fireballs, so... Sweet. That's it. That's all I needed. But while we're here, um... Might as well go into a dungeon. And if it has one of those false walls, you can just quickly get a legendary chest and that usually drops you at least a weapon. If not something useful. Oh. That's the nice thing about just quickly going to a high level island, just avoiding fights, just popping into dungeons like this. Okay, get in there. Um, how do I constantly not have my tools on my thing? Yeah, two swords popped out. So both of those are going to immediately be stronger than what I was using. So this is only a base power of 160, 155. This has twice that, 320, 305. So these are going to double my base strength just by holding them. So here, actually, hold on. I hate the how loud it is in here. Okay. Bear, don't fuck with me. Ah! I will kill you. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna launch. Okay, I thought he was gonna fucking come after me for a sec. Hold on. Let me get somewhere safe. Well, there's not really anywhere relatively safe. There's stuff all around here. Okay. This should be fine. Okay. So these are the swords I was using. So my attack was just sitting at about 660, 658. 658. Oh, damn. So I almost doubled my attack just by switching what swords I'm holding. And it also just happens to be that this rapier has the enchantment in green sharpened. So it gives me plus five attack extra. So that also helps. Um, and these ones don't give me anything bad besides like minus 10 stamina, which is nothing. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, so that's how you also... That's why it, it makes no sense in the early game to spend hours trying to make a weapon that's like a level 3 or level 4 star weapon. Because that's all you can really do in the very early game. You can't really access good weapons to make. They just kind of lure you into thinking that's what you needed to do. All you have to do is just open up like a level 3 or 4 island and just open some chests. And you're already going to pick up something that's going to more than double your strength. Like, immediately. So people spend so much time trying to make weapons when they should be trying to make accessories. You know, a piece of armor that they're actually going to use a headgear piece, you know, with good enchantments that they got. Now, granted, I know where to get Crimson Dragon. Um, you just have to get lucky with what islands you open. But you can still make yourself, like, a very good, decent set of beginner armor and accessories before you leave that beginner island. And then you can just go find good weapons and chests. Because that's mostly what you get out of chests, is weapons and then some materials and food. So save yourself some time and effort and just wait till you can pick some up and you'll make yourself way stronger so i should be able to kill a lot of stuff here also see that cow right there with the bomb on his head, uh, back that's the cow that you need to kill for one of the missions uh where is it it's here i think yeah nothing to lose cow i gotta get away from this fucking goblin kid so that cow is called a nothing to lose cow because it's literally like a suicide cow. I think that's what they mean by that. Um, the only real way to get that, you can't let them explode. 
or else it doesn't count as you killing them. So the only real way to do it is equip a strong ass bow with some decent arrows and just get a headshot on it. That's really it. Because I've tried the other ways. I used magic. Um, you have to use that ice mine to hit him from far away. I don't have any fucking arrows. Because he charges you, see? I think once that mode activates, you can't. it doesn't count as you killing him. So you have to like kill him from a distance. Okay. I had uh, I got what I wanted. I also got swords that are decent, so let's get out of here. Let's go back and make some money. Cause money's always nice. Oh, what's up, Astrid? Yeah, I, this island is probably one of the better islands to build your base on, uh, just cause it looks nice. And they also have a a middle island on this lake that is fucking nice. Plus, you can like build over by the wall, uh, the like the rock walls and stuff. Yeah, and they have snapping turtles. Oh shit, oh. Don't bit me. Oh, is he stuck? Oh, oh he's not stuck. <laughs> Come on, I wanna see him attack me. Oh, he just did rapid spin from Pokemon. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, fuck. Dang, he's actually chasing me. Alright, cool. Let's get out of here, though. Now that I can get some money. See, the reason uh, you should get the chest from the... Inside the dungeon is um, their legendary chest. It's like the best chest you can get, so it's going to drop you the strongest weapons. So, like, these weapons are not that strong in comparison to what I picked up inside the dungeon. Like, this is a rank 3, so it's a star level 10 sword. Compared to what I just picked up was seven and six, so these chests are not as good. They're the basic chests, so you can pretty much skip picking up that stuff unless you really want it for like decorating or for money or something. But I ran out of room and stuff is attacking me, so I don't want to die. Let's heal. Yeah, this, I like this island a lot. It's just a lot of yellow. If the grass was like slightly more greenish colored and not just the same color as the leaves, it'd look even better. It's just a little bit of a color wash, you know. Okay. Uh, as far as your home base, honestly, it doesn't really matter which island you build on. Um, mostly, it's just like as long as you're near water, so you can set up your uh, healing area and then um, honestly the only other thing I really look for is how close it is to an iron node because you need a lot of iron in this game Oops. that's right that's right okay now I am gonna pick all this stuff up and redo it so you guys can see um, I just gotta pick my new base or my home island now they have uh, the money thing, or what I use for my money farm, I can just go pick something else. But I want to open up. I don't really have too many resources, so I guess I can try one more island, see what I get. Come here, chicken. <laughs> okay, uh, this. you fancy pants oh yeah you want to see something fancy so with dual wielding uh the reason it's so good is you have a few more moves than most of the other weapons so this is my left hand or my off hand and then this is my main hand it's like a five hit combo and then if you press both at the same time you can do a, a slam and then <laughs> if i jump in the air i can do a beyblade move oh it's sick uh you can even, like chain them all together if I could ever land a hit, that'd be cool. Um, and then, see how there's like a counter on the bottom left above my money? It says 2. As I land hits on things, um, it'll go up to 10. Once it hits 10, um, it unlocks the special mode. So let me... I'll show you what that is. just have to actually hit stuff. God. I guess bushes count as raw, or, uh, hits. So once it glows rainbow... 
I can do the slam combo, and then if I keep pressing that move that I just did at the end, that's like a super special, like, it does insane damage. So if you have all your buffs activated, you can do, like, so much damage to uh, bosses that, like, you can pretty much one-hit them. If you just get that combo counter ready uh, with the enemies before you get to the end uh, dungeon, you can just run in there and hit them with that combo and annihilate them. It's awesome. Okay, I should probably... <coughs> oh, I should probably do some of the missions before <clears throat> I leave this island. Because there's a few that you can just do right off the rip that are very, very easy to get more inventory space, more skills. Oh yeah, I never did do that. Uh, cause I offered it already. Fuck. Also, uh, early game, if you're running out of space, don't, uh, I mean, you can sell stuff if you need it, but instead of dropping things or selling it, uh, just offer it to the picture book instead. Because... Over time, um, like if you're going to play with the same character for a long time, you're going to want these extra skills. So if you go to details, you can see like all the stats that you can boost over time. And I mean, if you do it enough, it's actually a good amount. Um, but yeah, you can offer literally any item in the game. So these are all the weapons, all the equipment, tools, buildings, consumables, materials, whatever you want. So if there's ever anything you don't need, like for my character, I'm using dual wield, so I will never use fangs. Uh, because it's just for a couple different accessories. Here, let me show you. Details. So it makes one one-handed blade, a killer bow, which I'm not going to use, some bracelets, and then some attire that I'll probably never make. And then some high-level weapons that I'm also never going to make. So I don't ever use fangs. So I can just take them, multi-select offer. Gone forever. Extra slot that I can use for storage. Which I should probably start. Nice. Oh yeah, that's right. I did show yesterday how to get those first three materials. The heat of mineral, peppers, and this stuff. Wasn't too bad. Didn't die, which I was happy about. Uh, the picture book, yeah, so as you play the game and stuff, like, you're going to run into the resources that you'll never really need, or food, stuff like that, so you could sell it, which, yeah, it's viable. Um, you could just uh, drop it on the ground, which you shouldn't do, um, or you could just do the picture book, which, like, each individual item can be offered in the game. Um, and each one has a stat correlated with it. So like this specific shrimp, uh, if you offer one, you'll get 0.1 magic attack, like forever. Just add it to your character. And then the more things you offer, the more points you're gonna get. And over time, you'll actually have like a good boost to your stats. And to see how much you're getting, just check the details. Like, I just started this character yesterday, so it's not that much, but I think my main character has like plus 20 attack, plus like, Five defense, so it's like actually worth it. Just do this over time, and you can just quickly do it from your inventory um, by using multi-select. If you press Y and then highlight whatever you want to offer, so I don't care about the seed, and then click offer. Or if you want to do multiple things, we cactus, you know, mushroom, whatever, offer done. And then if you go over to the picture book, you can, like, find the item you offered up, like cactus. So I gained 0.1 mana. Which is, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's worth it. Because there's, there's so many items in the game. Uh, okay, so I think this is a good time. Let me pull out my retriever rod. I need to start transferring items over, so... I don't know what, uh... What island I want to use. Oh yeah, I was supposed to get logs. Uh, I need five more. Hold on. I always get sidetracked on what I was doing. Actually, you know what? 
You just showed it yesterday. Oh, yeah. Um, so, at one point, I got bored with just doing regular gameplays. So, I was like, let me see how fast I can take characters from being, like, brand new on a brand new world. Like, how fast can I get to the last stage? And I think the fastest I got it was, like, four and a half hours. Like, literally getting all the way up to the last stage. So... For me, doing <laughs> for five and a half hours and all I really got accomplished was getting to the the hell stage. Uh, That's kind of slow, because I was like, explaining everything I was doing. It's okay though, because like it's taken me a long time to be that fast. Like I definitely wasn't that good when I started. I was really bad at this game. It just took a lot of research and literally just grinding this game and understanding things. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna pull this stuff actually. Alright, come here, cow. It did take me a very long time to be good at this game. Ah, that was lucky. And to know what to do and like when to do stuff and all that good, good you know, good knowledge that comes with experience. Come here, boys. Oh, no, don't sell these. You can sell... I don't need that or this. Oh, that would have actually been nice if I was a two-handed weapon user. Uh, take that. You can sell that stuff first before I leave. Okay, let me see. Okay, listen, some of us aren't speedrunners. I, well, that was just... It, I call it a speedrun, but it was more just like a challenge for myself. I don't know if there's even really... A, an actual like speed run category or anything that was just something I was like dude how fast can I fucking do this because I was just bored I felt like that was pretty quick oh you know what I'm being dumb one of my favorite items in this game retriever rod I'm trying to deconstruct something just so fast Plus, you look fancy as fuck when you do it. Alright, that can stay up until it sells. Also, get yourself Anubis. Like, just go up there, weaken him a little bit, throw him in a ball, put him at your base, and then you don't have to go up there to talk to him anymore. Come here, I can't miss this. my last one. Let's wander through games until the 80s should be here. Move on to another? Yeah. I... I don't know what you would even call it. I get absorbed into games like for about a month, and then I usually drop them forever. Uh, but for some reason, this game is just... I played it for about three months hardcore for like the first time, and then I didn't play it for a little bit, and then I got sucked back into it because I saw uh, like a video on YouTube. Uh, played for a long time again, and that, I think that was when I started my Twitch channel was because of this game. Um, and then I... Uh, and I did like a full playthrough without my microphone. Um, and then my second playthrough, I was like, screw it, I'll actually talk my way through everything. Um, and then I started doing the speed runs after that. Okay, that should be good. Let me grab the table. Mark it. I think that's a good start. That's fine. I don't think I have enough space for that. Uh, okay, I'll come back and grab all this stuff. I think that's empty now. Yep. Oh, I have a skill point. I forget what I was doing last. Uh, oh yeah, I was trying to get to combat two or three, but... Is there anything I should grab in here first? Also, oh, what's up, Cubones? How you doing, bud? Uh, hyperfixation? Yeah, that. Talking about when I get like fixated on game. Yep. 
That's probably what it is. I'm telling you, you would have a blast with Sky Factory or Stone Block Minecraft. See, I thought about playing Minecraft, but I was like, I feel like that would just be the same thing, but... I don't know. I always felt like that would just, like... I'd either really, really like it or just not like it at all. And I just don't want to take the chance of getting lost in another game for, like, three, four, a year, or however long. Oh, fuck. Plus, I, I feel like Minecraft has been out for so long now, like been 20 years or something like that to the point where it's like i'd have to learn such an insane amount of like uh what am i trying to say like re like reasons why you'd have to do certain things you know like 20 years worth of backstory of like all right this is why you can't do this or this is why you have to do something it's like oh fuck that would take so long to learn uh okay so let me watch these Okay, I can actually hold some more stuff. Um, as far as weapons... How do I unlock again? Oh yeah. Okay. I'll keep the fishing pole. I think I still need it. Um, copper, silver. I'll keep that for now. Alright, let's get start. <clears throat> Alright, where should I move? Uh, I'm gonna open this one too. Ooh, that's actually a good one. It's another dragon location. Um, okay, but I want to move my home base, so where should I go? And I'm not building on hell. <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for the rest of the group to get on. True. The modigrams. Yeah, I've, I've seen some stuff. Three, three over? The one I'm on, or... Cherry Blossom and then the Fallen Leaves. Yeah, those are both really good. The only thing that sucks, though, is, like, the way I build my automations is I do need, like, access to water, um, either on the ocean or some po at some part, just so I can do the healing area. Uh, can I open another one? No, I need more wood. It's up to you guys. I'll let you choose. The broken one? Two ED. Which one are you talking about? Because there's island. This one's Island of Residence, which is decent. Uh, big Bridge, Cherry Blossom, Fallen Leaves. But I'm not building on now because it's hard. Oh, I know about the Talisman Flags. Are you talking about this island? Or Big Bridge? Because I built on most islands before. I just want to let you guys pick. Alright, I'll go Big Bridge. Fuck it. I think there's some island nodes somewhere on here. That's really what I'm going to be looking for, mostly. Either that or I'll have to get an iron uh, farm from Kevin's or Crocodiles. Okay, so I can build out there, which would be cool. Um, I can build in the middle here because Fafnir doesn't spawn on this island. He's it's too low level. Or I can just go build right next to an iron node, which that spot won't really make a difference. I hate this part. There we go. Hey, Fergus. Or I can build over here, because honestly, building next to Fergus is a good idea, too, so you can get slates of growth all the time. Oops. Ah, of course.
Uh, let me look. Yeah, first spot is your vote. Oh, by the out on the island. Nice. Okay. Also, schools of fish. That's what they look like right there. See where the tip of my glider is? Just in case you didn't know what they were. Um, you have to use your net cannons on those. Just build like a floor piece next to the fish. Point your cannon, shoot it twice, good to go. Also, always leave yourself some stamina if you're over water. So you can jump onto the floor piece. Ah, dang it. All right, Gator Turtle. Whoa, I don't think I've ever heard him do that or make that noise before. That's cool. Reminds me of the uh, turtles from, uh, or that like crazy turtle from Ninja Turtles that Shredder like used the serum on to make like a snapping turtle and a werewolf or something like that. <laughs> okay, there's no iron node on this spot, which would have been nice. Just stone and copper. I'm gonna pass out. Got work in the morning. Thank you. All right, thanks for stopping by. Good luck at work tomorrow. Uh, okay. Ooh, chest. It's fine. But also a uh, crocodile. That's pretty sick. That'll be nice, because that'll probably be my iron farm, honestly. It's crocodiles. Or Kevin's. Both are on this island somewhere. Alright. <clears throat> Time to get rid of these guys. leave all this stuff intact because I think you could break this stuff so I don't want to lose it because I, I think I'm going to build like around this skull I'm sick as fuck to look at yeah, I can't hold anything uh okay yeah, and there's no iron nodes here so that's fine I can just do this setup for it's actually a good idea okay um let's get the talisman flag down oh yeah I forgot to pick it up of course. Leather. Mm. God damn it. <sighs> okay. Um, there's got to be something on the sound that drops leather. Yeah, the only problem with um, depleting is I'm not strong enough yet. I have to have about like 3,000 attack before I can really get it with the right skills and stuff. Um, it does take a while though, even with the right skills and uh, attack. But that could be another video. Um, it's not bad. I do actually need to uh, add the crocodile enchantment, so I'll probably do that one instead of the, oh, blue herbs, um, instead of the, uh, what's it called, the Kevin farm, because Kevin, the Kevin iron, I would need to be over level 90 for him to drop the good enchantments, which is what I want to do anyways, so that'll probably be a setup for another video, uh, I don't need apple seeds, yeah, I don't need apple seeds. Also do a potion farm today too. It's over. Oh bear, yes, leather. Um die you bitch. Ah, oh, 
didn't drop leather because I called him a bitch. Damn it. He's still a bitch. I'm still gonna build over there, I've just gotta find some leather so I can make a thousand flag so then I can put everything down without getting harassed. Oh boy, it's a bunch of round. I should have just went back to the base and picked up the other one. No, oh well. I also probably should have made a helicopter. Oh well, should have done a bunch of stuff. Ooh, uh. Buffalo, I think, drop leather. Maybe elephants. Yes, they do. One? Damn. I think I needed, what, f three or four or something like that? I don't know. It's fine. Oh, that's iron right there. Doop. Yeah, if you if you want an easy thing, you just do the iron nodes. But I like to complicate it setup, so I think I'll really I think I am gonna do the crocodile iron farm. Which are pretty fun to set up. But I have to get their other stuff set up first, so Oh, there's that stick drift. Oh, that's a good picture. Oh, that'll even be better. Hold on. All my thumbnails I try to make from like moments in the game that I was playing. Oh, that would actually be better. Hold on. Sick. Okay. Oh, oh, there's werewolves here. And everybody else's response. Okay, let's get this fucking flag down. It's facing forward. It's one thing I can never tell when I'm actually placing stuff which way it faces. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh! I might have to place more than one flag, though. Alright, that looks fine. <laughs> okay, at least now I can build in peace. Um, I think the first thing I should put down is chests, just so I can just transfer everything easier. Oh, that was stupid. So this will be the last. Okay. 
Uh, okay, I could probably... Nah, I'm just going to let the stuff that fell on the ground just disappear. Except for the coins. So I can sell those for a little easy money. Uh, I don't need those weapons or any of that stuff because they're not that good. Yeah, it's not that good. Okay. Uh, perfect. Alright, let's head back to base, grab the rest of the stuff, and come back. Alright, this is where the retriever rod comes in handy. Instead of running all the way out there, you can just bloop. Dunzo. Really? Also, what a great view. Good choice on the bridge. Okay, let's grab the rest of the stuff, head back, and we'll just set up the automations that we can for right now, and then um, crab crocodiles, breed them down to level ones, set up that, and then go from there. If you ever need to stop automations, all you have to do is pull off the craft connectors and everything will stop. Well, at least this part of it. And then you can like pick up the cooking pods and all that stuff. What the hell happened to this one's craft connector? Oh, that must have been the first one I pulled. Server. Oops. Uh oh shit, I pulled the stone wall. That's fine, he actually won't leave that spot. Sweet. I think you can't pick up the rotating saw for some reason. I don't know why. With the uh, retriever rod. Now, since this is a tool, technically it does lose durability as you use it. Uh, so after a little bit, it'll tell me that it's about to break. I can just repair it in my inventory until it's like got really low durability, and then just toss it in the repair machine or whatever it's called, uh, and just fully repair it. And then you that's just what you do with all your weapons and stuff, which is nice. Uh, do I not need... Thought I offered. Oh, I already I picked some more up. Duh. Sprinkler. Yeah, let's do that. <sighs> Fuck, I think I need all this stuff, so that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I can leave the well behind. Whatever. I saw that coming. Uh, okay, cool. That was everything. Uh, you have to leave this altar behind because you need to be able to teleport away. So, yeah, that's... Once you're done with, like... Oh, shoot, I didn't do some of the missions like I said I was going to do. <laughs> Fuck. Um, how did I... I never crafted one. That's funny. Um, there's some that you can, like... Once you get yourself decent armor, like one-shotting a cow with a single strike and a bear, that's easy... Defeat 10 cows within 10 seconds. That's easy on the beginner island. They're all like level 1 or 2 or 3. Um, 
capture bear that's easy on this island. Uh, martial arts, that's easy now with the skills. Headshot, defeat a cow with the headshot, that's easier on low level ones, just do it here. Okay, so I should do some stuff on so here. I'm just tripping. I need some arrows first. Wish I had a stronger bow, but that's fine. Okay, so 10 headshots in 10 seconds. That's easy as fuck with monos, because they're all foreheads, so <laughs> just hit them in the fucking face. And it's a speed challenge, so you don't have to wait for it to always charge you as soon as you can aim them. Or 5 headshots, not 10. That's how easy that one is. Um, defeat a cow with a head strike, that's easy. You don't even have to do it with a bow, you can just... Um, er, the last hit can be with a bow. You can hit them with your fists to lower their health, or you can just do that. Uh, single strike. That didn't count as a headshot, really. Hitboxes are a little weird in this game. There we go. Uh, okay, take that. Bear, cows, 10 seconds. Okay, uh, I'm gonna let these guys regenerate a little bit. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I have to kill 10 cows in 10 seconds, so I have to wait till a couple more spawn to do that one. So I'll come back for this. So I have to kill a bear with a single strike, and then I have to capture a bear as well. So uh, I'll just headshot them with the bow because I was hitting pretty hard. There's also cows over here, so maybe I can. Maybe I'll do it over here, too. Okay, come here, bear. Just sick. Level one. Oh, oh. Hey, stop that. Don't be jerk. Don't make me fucking use my swords. You dick. You know what? I'll capture you, then. Oh shit, you asshole, I'm out of fucking Pokeballs. Oh well. Get. Alright, you know what? Okay, so I gotta make a uh, monster prism really quick. And then I will capture a bear, and then I'll see about killing one on one strike. Now, if I knew EI yeah, Slash, that'd be so much easier. Oh, fucking... Okay. <clears throat> I can capture a bear later. Because um, it doesn't matter what level the bear is. I still want to just be able to do one strike with... Uh... It'll just be easier on this island since it'll be a level one. Okay, how many cows are around? Four to my left. Four, eight, ten. Um, okay, cool. So let's do it really quick. Shut up. Alright. Alright. Nice. Triple. One more. One more. Where is he? Dude, I counted ten. What the fuck? Oh, there he is. Ah, I don't think I got it. It's been ten seconds. Oh, shit. That was a very generous ten seconds. Okay. I'll take it, though. Okay. Alright, let's, uh... Kill this cow in one hit. Or, bear. Do this, pop my buff. Actually, oh, I don't have anything that has Berserk on it. <laughs> Sucks. Okay, pop this. I need to hit a headshot, so I need to actually aim. Dude, they hit him in the fucking eye. How is that not a headshot? Okay, I hit him in the mouth. Alright, that's what it'll have to be then. Fuck, sorry. My uh, controller's 
starting to get stick drift pretty bad, so if you ever see me just randomly look up for no reason, like, it's probably what it is. I'll probably also say something, because it's really annoying. Most games, your thumb is... Oh, wow, level 4. I probably won't be able to kill him in one hit. Most games, like, uh, you're constantly using your right analog stick, so, like, I think over time it just fucking got worn out. There we go. So... Then I could just catch a bear on any other island, so that's not that hard. These other ones I can do other places. Martial arts, 200 damage bear hands, that's easy. Take that off, take this off, take this off. Uh, just do a running kick. Oh. Even though it's a kick, it still counts as a bear hands. Um, but I might not be strong enough yet. Yeah, I'm still not strong enough. I don't have enough uh, skills yet to boost my attack enough. Yeah, it's fine. I can do it any other time. Uh, it's just easier against low level stuff because they have less defense. Come on. Kick this guy. Yeah, nah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Even with Battle Him activated. Oh well. <clears throat> do it another time. Cool, off we go. Let's go back. So now that I have decent enough gear to kill stuff quickly, I can basically run through most of the dungeons on all the low level islands. I'm not going to because this isn't going to be a full playthrough character. Um, but that's a that's like the main way you'd get slates of growth um, is just clearing dungeons on all the islands you can get to because each island uh, has at least four dungeons on it. Um, so each island can be at least one level up for Anubis. And you only need 30 level ups for, to max it out. So at the minimum, you need like 120. I'm doing my math. Yeah, 120 uh, slates of growth to max out. And that's only if you actually get health, mana, and um, stamina from him. If you specialize in just one of the categories, it starts costing more uh, slates of growth. I think if you get over 20 levels... Oh, shit, and a Kraken's there, too? Nice. Um, this is a boss, a field boss. But yeah, so if you, like, do nothing but stamina, um, after, like, 20 levels of it, it starts costing more or something like that. I forget how much it does. It's been a minute. All right, you guys want to see me fight a boss really quick? Oh, Kraken. Wrong sword, but that's fine. Dead. Tick. Okay, first thing I usually set up is like, see, I wasn't even touching my controller and I'm looking straight up now. Okay, um, and that'll just randomly fucking happen. It's annoying when I'm trying to play like a first person shooter game or something and I'm aiming and my con I just start looking, like aiming up out of nowhere. I'm like, fuck. Get killed and shit. It's really annoying. Alright, I don't want to build around this. Hmm. I'm honestly the worst with coming up with like an overall idea of how I want to build. I mostly just start building and then it comes to me as I play. Um, but this game specifically, I mostly like center my building style around the automations, like whatever I set up. That's what ends up being like how stuff looks. Um, so it's, but it's kind of hard to build when there's pre-existing stuff around you. So let's drop this stuff. This tree can stay. This tree can go. Okay, so this will be where I set up my bioethanol farm. Do that real quick. I need more wheat. Be careful which way you place your uh, your wheat. I accidentally made a Nazi symbol one time because the way they grow like is actually directional, uh, and I did it on stream, so that wasn't very good. Okay, you guys are about to learn how to do this the fast way. 
worker faster way. So <clears throat> before, what I did was I'd place a floor above, and then you take your wheat plot, place the plot up here, stand underneath, and you pull the floor. It's pretty easy. Um, but what you can also do, if you remember the slam method, like I showed you how to force floors and walls in, you can do that with plots. Like that. Pretty easy. Uh, and then I gotta make some more. So let's go ahead and put down workbench. I do not have enough to make enough. If I was fine. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do stacks of three instead of four. It's not really that much more production. Oh, good example right here. Boom. Just because the game says you can't do it doesn't mean you can't do it. Oh, except for I actually needed it to be over here. Oops. It's all about time, like pressing it right when it perfectly is uh, showing. It's like for a split second it shows that you can place it on top. So you just gotta time it right. Okay. Pick this up for a sec. So if you stand like right where between two the two spots, you can just look back and forth really quickly. And if you time it right, you get lucky and get it on the first shot. Uh, damn it, I should start with this one that moved over. You know what, I can still do that. Yes, I got two in a row. It's always fun when that happens. Come on. Now this is only this style is only faster if you have the retriever rod, because if you fuck up you can just quickly pick it up and keep going. Now if you don't have the retriever rod, just do the floor replacement thing, because it's almost a guarantee at every time. Uh, so grab this, grab this. I need one more wheat field. So I think I need logs. Oh it's straw. Okay, I can do that. Uh, maybe I could do a log farm as well when I need a lot. <clears throat> uh, I just immediately had a brain fart. Oh yeah, fields. Got it. Okay, so sprinkler. Uh, you can't, you can place it here, you can place it off to the side, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll just place it on the back part. Because it'll reach, no matter what. Because I think it reaches, like, two and a half squares out this way. Like, all the way over here. And then, two and a half squares that way. So, it could technically hit all the way out here. So, it'll touch everything. But see how the crops grow, like, in a direction? If you placed it sideways, it would actually grow, like, this way as well, so you could accidentally make some not-so-fun stuff. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought somebody just tried to call me. Uh, okay, so let's get the next step. Um, so this is normally how I do my setups. I was just showing on the last stream, like, how to do it compact with just one square. Um, this is how I'd normally set it up. And yes, do the walls in the air. If you do them down here, um, the rotating saw would hit the corner and then the wheels would literally let it climb straight up out of the box and then it would just get out, like almost immediately. So you have to have the the things in the air. Or he'll just get out. Oh yeah, I never did that mission. Let me pick him up and place him two more times. 
So the one of the missions says you have to make and place five rotating saws. Just make one and then pick it up and place it five times. It's the same thing. See? There you go. And then they have the exact same mission, but instead of the rotating saw, it's for the excavator. Um, I can also do that now that I can make one. So yeah, it says set up five excavators. It doesn't specify that you have to make five separate ones. It's just make five. Or, or sorry, set them up five times. Um, so you can literally just pick and place, pick and place, pick and place. Uh, oh man, he hit the bush. Okay, so if anything's close enough, that saw will actually reach and cut it. That's okay. I don't think it'll be able to hit anything else. Alright, so that was the first step, is having the sprinkler auto water. Well, actually, the first step is stacking the wheats, so you have more production, so you don't have to have a full spread out area. Okay, I actually have to collect this myself. Um, then you auto water with the sprinkler, and then you figure out if you want to use the rotating saw or the reaper machines to cut your wheat for you. The only reason I do the rotating saw is it's faster because it's constantly trying to cut, so you don't have to wait for the ro the reapers. Okay, cool. It didn't break anything, but that's why I opt for the rotating saw, um, and I just deal with the problems he brings. Is because <clears throat> the reapers are slower; like you have to wait for them to pop up and cut things. Uh, this would probably be a good time to make a steel chest. I don't know if I have enough steel. I don't have any steel. Okay. Nope. Yep. Uh, just for now. I don't have any iron. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so I need 25 iron to make 5 steel. Uh, this is one of the bad things about living on an island is you don't have access to jack shit. Let's go get some iron really fast. Also, I have five skill points. That's cool. That'll help me. Um, I'll be able to get a uh, berserk. Finally. Oh, I'm completely empty on hunger. Oops. Thirty-six. Let's get some more. Let's titanium. Fuck you, bear. Fuck you. Yeah, hey, get out of here. Right, let's grab a little bit more iron so I can make pokeball so I can go capture that bear actually. Oh yeah, I haven't broken ten stones in one minute. Damn, I haven't done really any mining. Sick. God, I have a decent pickaxe. This shit would take forever if I still had the basic stuff. And it's actually also because my attack is actually just sitting at a higher attack now. Uh, so if I actually equip one of my swords instead of the Reaper or the Retriever Rod, I'll hit even harder. Yeah, a little bit harder. Sweet. That should be good for now. Uh, actually, not a little bit more. I want to start making glass walls um, so I can uh, make my automations with those instead of like stone and stuff so you can see through them and actually see what's going on which I like a lot <laughs> okay let's go ahead and pick that up that might not even be enough but that's okay fuck you sheep yeah blah <sighs> give me your wool I hope that bear gets you alright I should probably build some sort of like I shouldn't have got rid of my uh, campfire. It's okay, I'll just put it right here. Okay, I'll probably angle it because it's gonna fall. Hey, there you go. I don't know if that made me like float like at an angle or if it still put me straight up or not, but don't care. 
Sweet. Oh yeah, here's a good example. See how it like deleted that as soon as that stuff got cut? That's just how Xbox fucking works. It sucks. Because they limit you on how much stuff can be available. Just because they were worried that it would cause the game to crash too often. So they like said, you can only... Uh, oh damn, that was dumb. I don't have to place the other one. Um, they're like, you can only have 32 items on the ground of the same sort. So it's like, alright, cool. So watch, as it cuts that pile, most of this stuff's going to disappear. See? So we're like we had to figure out different ways of doing automations because PC you can just there's there's not a limit so you can kind of just have stuff sitting on the ground longer. Um, so you guys are a little bit easier to work with uh, automation wise. Unfortunately for us, we got to figure out different ways to do that uh, work around that stuff. Okay, let me. Tired of fucking staring at this shellfish. I think I need a five steel, right? For the chest. I have three. That's four. Whew. Half the time just waiting for shits. Part of the battle. And I did logs, of course. I think I noticed that. I think it palm logs. I don't know if these actually count. Dang, they don't. Uh, there's certain trees that'll drop you paw like parts of a coconut I think and then in here you can make your own trees and this one specifically the coconut tree seedlings um, they drop three things they drop logs uh, coconut pieces and straw when they get cut um, so there's a way to set up an automatic log straw and coconut farm just from one tree or well a couple of trees but um, and the other trees all drop different stuff too. It just happens to be that that one's one of the few that drops logs and straw. Um, you can plant regular trees. There's the the blossom trees look really nice as decoration. Uh, cactus and stuff. The rubber trees are really cool. That's helpful for making stuff because rubber is used for late game things like the multi sling and uh, tank parts and fucking all kinds of stuff. Um, you can make tea shrubs. And then of course they have the automat or the artificial bedrocks, which I could actually make one of iron. Where is it? Yeah, I just need steel, iron ore, clay, and limestone. Which the hardest thing would be the clay and the limestone, which both exist in the uh, abandoned mine dungeons, so that's not that bad. Then you have to make a where is it? I forget if it's uplifting or the new... Ch yeah, it's uplifting. Um, then you have to make one of these, and then you splash it on the rock. So it's like a four-step process to give yourself an artificial bedrock of your choosing. Um, and I think this one would probably be the hardest to get, because the King Mono Fluid, that's not too bad. Cup of water, it just takes 30 buckets of water. Bright Rider, you have to go to a higher-ish level island and find one, and then you have to make black gunpowder, which it's a little hard. <clears throat> I'd rather just set up an iron farm with crocodiles instead. Alright, do I have enough fucking steel yet or what? There we go. Finally. Actually, no, while I'm waiting on that, I'll just make more steel chests. That'll be one more steel chest. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead get our chest set up up here. Okay, if I'm doing math, center line, centered, cool. It's down here. Alright, it's very hard to see sometimes. There you go.
Perfect. Sick. Pick this up. Come back upstairs. Cook the floors and then just place them. And since the absorbers were attached to the, the chest itself, um, it just works through the floors. It's the same concept as having chest absorb through walls sideways. It just you just turn it on its side. So that way it absorbs upwards through the floor. It's the same thing. And I did a pretty good job lining it up. It's almost dead center. So it should be able to collect most of the wheat. If anything, I can just slap a couple more uh, absorbers, and they don't have to be attached to the chest, because all their job is going to do is, like, help the wheat get up to those middle two. So I can just place them, like, kind of close to them, like that. And then it should grab any of the miss the stuff that I couldn't grab before. So let me... There you go, that's good enough. So that should help grab all the wheat from the corners. It looks terrible, but whatever, it works. And then this should start collecting all the wheat for me. Then the next process or step is cooking pots. Oops. Aging. So the way to know that, so I'll give an example. So when I first started trying to figure out uh, the automation process for bioethanol, I was trying to figure out how to line up the droppers, so that way they drop straight back to the chest. Um, and if you place the cooking pot straight, the droppers go at an angle. So like they're on the they're on the sides. So they shoot straight from the sides, but they go from an angle on the four corners. Um, so it will never like line up straight this way. So I was like, all right, reliably every time if you snap it to the grid, face the big arrow away from me straight, and then click right two times, or I'm sorry, left on the D-pad two times, you rotate it until it lines up straight. Now you could just do it this way as well with the sides. So just face the arrow completely to the left or the right of you, and that should also line it up. It's the same thing. I just happen to like uh, rotating it instead. I don't know, it just looks more natural. Plus it's more complicated. Like everything. Okay, I think that's the same distance. Yeah, that's right. Okay, um, then you place your craft connectors. I like to start with these first so that way I make sure they're actually connecting. Excuse me. Auto, yes. 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 Then you slap your droppers. And these you just want to get them low so they don't shoot over the top of the chest. Because that will be a problem if they put the droppers too high. Because watch, if you put the dropper up here, bye bye wheat. So it actually does matter where you place the droppers. So literally just put them fucking low. As low as you can get them. Without it clipping through the floor, because then it'll it'll also fuck it up. Just put them bad boys low, and you're good. Then just place your absorbers. Try, I, I try to make them lined up so it looks like they're, like, touching. <laughs> they're docking. <laughs> um... But it doesn't really matter. As long as they're positioned pretty much right in front of them, they're good to go. I just try to make them centered. Sick. So that should work. And if uh, any of them go over the top, the other side should catch it. Because I'm going to also place a aging facility right here. Now this one doesn't matter which way you're facing. It can go in any cardinal direction. As long as it's straight with one of the arrows. And then you can just... Uh, Do 
dropper, same thing, just put it low. Now this is an overcomplicated way of doing this, but the reason it's I did this is so that way I only had to use one chest for the whole setup. Instead of it all being separate chests and stuff like that, I just wanted to have one chest have literally everything from the wheat to the wheat flour to the bioethanol going all at once. So it's not that big of a space, it's just a two, you know, a two by two square with a two square height, two and a half ish square height, but it's a fully automatic bioethanol farm. I feel pretty proud of it. This one I actually figured out on my own, like there's a bunch on YouTube of like other ways as well, um, but this one I personally came up with. So I actually really like it. Plus it looks pretty cool. Okay, so that's nice. I'll have that going all the time. Uh, next thing I'll probably set up is the water farm. The reason I set that up is there's a specific mission that's just really annoying more than anything. You have to make over 5,000 gold with cups of water, and you can't do this in multiplayer. So you have to be in single player when you sell them for it to count. Uh, and that equates to 500 cups of water. That's just like a ridiculous amount of water. Plus, this character is going to be a mage, because I want to show people how you can switch uh, pretty easily from the beginning being a melee to then switching over to being a mage. So I need water, because one of the spells uses cups of water, or uh, buckets of water to activate, so I might as well set that up too. So let's go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. Uh, wells. Stone, of course. But that's cool because I have a stone node right here. So that's a, that actually is helpful. <clears throat> and since one of, two of these are stone, I could actually switch over one of these once I get strong enough. I need a bunch of wells, so I'm gonna need some stone. With enough levels in double jump, you can do triple jump. Um, and you can actually hit a bunch on the stone. Like you'll do a bunch of multi hits. So you know what? See? It's pretty sick. And that's uh, actually part of the strategy to break bedrocks. Um, you get yourself triple jump. And then you get your attack as high as you can get it to about to three or four thousand um, then you max out a few different stats or skills uh, like the three main buffing skills battle him berserk and backwater formation and then you max out mining frenzy I think it's called, it's called which one is it? it's under living gatherers frenzy max this out you for a small t period of time you just hit rocks and trees like way fucking harder um at max you're getting it's 500 percent damage but you take recoil damage so like your life goes down every time you hit a rock so when you do the triple jump you have to be careful because you actually hit the rock like a bunch of times so you could actually kill yourself on accident but you're gonna hit the rock for like tens of thousands of damage and you're gonna quickly deplete it and that's how you destroy them but the first thing you need is uh just a really high attack stat. At least a decently high. Anywhere in the 3,000 to 5,000 range, you can do the. You can break bedrocks. Okay, workbench. Wells. Four. Oh, I'm out of iron. Of course. Alright, you know what? I think the next thing I'll do is do the iron farm because I'm out of iron constantly again. 
So you know what the wells can wait, or the water farm can wait. That can just go. I need a little bit of space for that, so that can actually go like right here, where this stuff is at. Chest can be here. This can be the walkway. I'm trying to plan out like kind of how I want my base to look. So I'll probably have a walkway down to here. This can be like the healing area. And then the middle and stuff can. This can be like my personal like. This is where my character lives. <laughs> and then this can be like all the automations over here. Okay, yeah, this could work. Hmm, I forget which way the wells dro have droppers placed on them. So let me try a couple different directions. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that might be the winner. Okay, I could just place them straight. Um, okay, so what I normally do is I use two stacks of wells. So straight is actually pretty good. So let's actually make a wall first, see where this is gonna be going. Okay, so what I usually do is I have a chest like right here in the middle with an absorber sticking through the wall. And then on either side, and in the front face, um, I have a cooking pot. So like here, here, and then over here. And then I have the craft connector absorber and dropper system. And then I have them auto making cups of water for me from the wells that are dropping buckets of water. On this side. Pretty simple. And this is just what I do early game because it's just the easiest thing to do for water. Um, later on you can get an item that just makes you cups of water automatically. So then eventually I do that. Alright, I did this wrong, so let me show you how you should do this. Okay, make sure it's snapped to the grid so it's not free placing. Find the spot you want it and just jump place that's you know then and just wait for it to fall and then jump again that way they are perfectly lined up and straight because they will look absolutely ridiculous if you don't do it straight see it's already off a little bit that's fine three is good and then I can do another stack here I don't have enough droppers but that's fine you get the idea then you place one dropper on each well and once they produce a bucket, the dropper will spit it out and it'll hit the wall and stop immediately, just like that. And then the absorber, which I don't have attached, which if it's hard to place, just pick up the walls really quick. Done so. So literally the same exact way that I have the absorbers attached to the chest up there, the it's attached to the chest here. And then it'll work through the wall Anytime the buckets get shot out, it'll just immediately get absorbed. So that's a good start. Um, it's like a pick up for a second. Actually, this will be a nice entrance right there. I don't like most of the doorways. I like this one, the arches. They just look, it's more roomy. You don't really need doors in this game since you can just stop spawns from being near you. Sick, it doesn't dam it doesn't damage it. Oh, and then oh that was my friend. So he probably wants me to play Call of Duty. Oh god, I really want to play this game, but I also want to play Call of Duty with my friends. Um Damn, you guys might get outvoted here. Hold on. Uh how long have I been streaming? An hour and a half? Fuck, that's not long. Alright, you know what? I'll, I'll give you guys another some more craft up your stream soon. Let me text her really quick and be like, hey, I'll be on in a minute. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Fuck, what's her number again?
Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let's place this here. I'll play. I'll, I'll do this for like another ten minutes, and then I'll get on uh, Call of Duty. Okay. Uh, let's pick this up. So you can I can start getting my base sort of put together. Offer, and I'll get started on the um, the crocodile farm here in a second. This is actually a good start. Okay, it's not bad. Then I can always yeah, I'll leave that open for now. Looks good. Okay, let's get um uh I need crocodiles, and then I also need breeding station, which I think I only have one, so let's make another. I need cockroaches. I need iron. <laughs> I need crocodiles. Fuck. <laughs> Everything is just iron. Yeah. I don't need iron. Fuck. I knew I should have saved some. I even said it. I didn't make any Pokeballs. Fuck my life. Okay, there's no iron here. Okay, there's some in the distance. Oh boy. Okay, so once I get iron, I'm gonna get uh, some Pokeballs, I need at least like four or five. Um, and then I need to grab the crocodiles. I need to breed them with anything I have that's level one, lower their levels down to level one, uh, and then I can set up the iron farm and then I'll probably get off after that. If you ever need stamina quick, just crouch. It comes back faster. Triple jump, you bitch. There we go. Yeah, this would be a cool base. Base island, at least. Uh, okay. So that should have a decent amount of stuff up here now. Yeah, look. So, I already have 17 bioethanol, a whole bunch of wheat flour, a whole bunch of wheat. So if I wanted to, I think I could add another aging facility um, via the top part. Um, I could literally just place a floor up here, like that. Um, it would take a little bit, but I could basically have the craft connectors and droppers and stuff work through the floor as well, and just have an aging facility up here working as, uh, at the same time. It gets a little funky when you start trying to do multiple craft connectors on one side. Like if I try to do two pots over here, it starts getting really weird, uh, which I did because I tried. <laughs> I was like, how many can I get on one side of a chest? But for now, that should be fine. Uh, Pokeballs. Iron. My face. Brain. Everything. Okay. This. This. Now, I would normally try to figure out uh, a spot for, like, my furnaces and stuff, but I just want to go quick right now. Get this done. I have sand, I have iron, then I'll be able to catch the crocodiles. I need breeders, so I need cogwheels.
Maybe that's what I'll do for a specific stream, like, uh, go back to, like, my main character that just has a bunch of stuff, um, and just take a bunch of building materials and go to a new island and just place down, like, all the automations I know, <laughs> like, from the basic stuff all the way up to, like, the harder stuff, you know? That'd be probably a really good stream. Uh, let's do seven. Cog wheels, so I need three more. Okay, that's just to get a head start of the money farm. Not offering everything, I'm just gonna wipe all the enchants away. So, because none of the machines need enchantments on them, it doesn't actually do anything. It actually makes it more annoying because they're harder to stack. I don't know how my hotbar got so fucked up. Hopefully, it's not this bad. Um, they're level 10, so I think, of course. Alright, they should be able to survive. I only need one of them, so if one dies, it's okay. So that's how you avoid their attack. You just let them do their chomp, and you just back away. Doop. Most of the time, they fucking miss. Okay, let's just need you. You, yeah, it's fine. That one's gone. If it goes in the water. You really don't, can't really get it, bro. I'm not this bad. Get over here. Oh, that's all I needed. Uh, Uki. Okay, healing area. Let's see how fast I can set this up. I need more stone floors anyways. box. Oops. Didn't need that one that far down. Because you can just place a floor. So get it lined up so, like if it's snapping. Switch the building mode and then put it back to where it was. So right there and then just look straight down until the golden circle disappears. That's the height you need. Perfect size get like pole. So if your character is doing the swimming animation that's deep enough to cause damage to monsters, uh, so good enough for the monos. That's all you need. Then take this. I think I want to place this way. So if you caught my last stream, uh, you saw me do this before, but I'm using the same technique to get absorbers that 
<clears throat> that I was using to get the absorber onto the chest for my bioethanol from underneath. So you need to have the bottom exposed so that way you can attach the absorber somehow. Um, and it needs to be on the bottom, so if you want to absorb through a floor upwards. And it needs to be two, it can't be one. Um, and then you can use the slam building trick to then force a floor here. Just like with the... Uh, actually, I didn't use that for the bioethanol because you can just... It's in a different spot. Anyways, um... There we go. You can take that floor away and you're good to go. And it absorbs through the floor. It's all done. Uh, take your monos that I don't have on me. Cow. area started. Uh, market's going to get rid of the eggs and cactus that pop out. Done. That's good. Now, I can place another breeder. You know, I'm going to put it over here because my money farm is going to have to be on this side. So This can just go here. It's not lined up, but that's okay. I think that reaches. Actually, it might not. Hold on. Should be good. So if you if your person stands where they would stand and you get healed, ooh, I don't think that reaches. Damn. It's been a minute since I've had to do it this style, so let me. I think it may have to go one that step. Yeah, it's like one half step closer, so maybe that reaches. I'm trying to make sure that whatever's on the breeding station eh, might not be close enough either um, stays alive so they don't die but I don't think that's gonna really matter because I don't they're not gonna breed very long I need more pokeballs anyways so what I'm doing is trying to get the crocodiles to be level one um, because you need to have them breed into the large cooking pots because they don't drown so they'll just stay alive in the water and that was not a level one. That sucks. Oh, you jerk off. No. Nope. I have to make more Pokeballs. Really quick. Oh, yeah, at a level two, so that's good. Oh, it is close enough. The cow did get healed. Sweet. Level two. This should be a level one, guaranteed. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> also need. Uh, actually, no. I don't need another one. That should be fine. Take the cow. Take this. Okay. I need two cooking, big cooking pots. So I'm gonna need four regular cooking pots. Oh, I need hella charcoal. Damn. I don't know 
know if I have enough charcoal. Oh, maybe I do. It's six each, so six twenty-four. Sweet. Batteries. Always need clogs, god damn. I think I need more droppers, so I'm gonna need more charcoal, but I don't have enough logs, so that six will have to do. Okay. <clears throat> this will have to be if that goes off down there, this can go off this way for over here. Okay. I'll have it go over here. be a good spot so this is where if sometimes uh if you're trying to make an automation if you know each step that you're going to build you can actually build it backwards um and sometimes it's easier to do it that way so if you know the last thing you're going to need is a chest collecting iron ore start with the chest and then go backwards so if you know that it needs an absorber put the absorber on and then that'll be the last step in the process um so let's go ahead Oop, that's not centered I may not have all the pieces to the automation, but we'll get there. Okay, and then I like to make the wall there, so that way it's guaranteed to get absorbed. Let's get rid of this sulfur. So again, my tools are not on my fucking hotbar. Sorry, tree. Uh, so eventually this will just have iron in it, so that'll be nice, and probably some other stuff. Um, so the, the next thing I need is the cooking pot that's going to have all the gators dying in it, or crocodiles dying in it. So that's going to have to go here. said I'd be on in a minute and like 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago. Whatever. Uh, we're getting there. We're almost done. Okay, that's perfect. Actually, looks great. Um, get your large cooking pots. Okay, this one could literally just be pretty much as, not super close, but close enough to the wall. Because you're just going to have five droppers. It's hard to see, but... Uh, these can be, it doesn't really matter because it's going to hit the wall anyway, so. Just put four on it for now. I'm going to need more droppers, so I need that charcoal to hurry up. Okay, this is where the crocodiles are going to breed and fall down into it, so it can, they can just sit in here and burn and die. <laughs> and then the materials will just get dropped out and absorbed into this chest. But, the next part, uh, you need to have the other cooking pot for the healing area a little bit higher than down here because you don't want the healing circle to accidentally heal them when they're down there in the cooking pot so you need to have it far enough away that the healing bubble won't touch them so you got to build it kind of high I think in the workbench you can make more than just 
stacks of 10 at a time. Okay, so same thing. And the reason I built it back here is because you're literally going to have the other cooking pot be like pretty much on the edge. Now if I was smart, take one away so I can count a little easier. So that way I know where it's the center is. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, a little too far off, or too far out. One, two, three, four, five, right there, and right there. Perfect. Sweet. So the reason you want it sticking out a little bit is so that way, when you put the the breeder here, it sticks out just far enough to where the crocodiles sit on the edge, or they're gonna produce and fall straight down into this part. I'll just fall straight down. Oh, there's that stick drift again. Okay, let's put this back. Um, and then the other breeder is going to sit up here for the green monos, because this is going to be the healing area, because this is what is going to keep the crocodiles here alive, and then the one down here is what's going to kill them. Um, but I need more stuff. Hogwheels, so of course. I don't have enough iron. I won't be able to finish this. Ah, uh, well. Okay. Um, I'll I have to save that. I have it started, so I'll remember what that's for when I come back on for another stream. Might even be tomorrow if I don't close. Or if I don't stay at li work late. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's got a decent start. I basically just moved my base. That was about it. That's okay. Still got something done. Alright, guys. Uh, thanks for anybody who stopped in and said what's up. Cubone, Denastrid. Thanks, guys. I'll see y'all later, and I uh, hope you guys have a good night. Bye.